Hi, my name is Zach, and today I'm doing my presentation on the constellation Cassiopeia. A polar, which means it can be seen year-round, but the best time to see it is during November. The best place to see it is in a southern... It lies in the first quadrant of the northern hemisphere and is near Andromeda, Camelopardalis, Cepheus, Lacerta, and Perseus. This is my drawing of the constellation. My story begins with McDonald's who has just released a new type of hamburger called the Cassiopeia. It is made up of a mixture of lettuce and pickles. An astronaut named Joe was heading to McDonald's for the first time, and he picked up 20 of the burgers to take to the office with him and give to his friends at work. When he gets back to the office, he learned that he will have to participate in a space viewing to try to find new stars and constellations. He sees a very bright star, which he's decided to name Strider, because that's his best friend's last name. While continuing to look around the star, he sees that stars line up to make a shape similar to the M, which reminded him of the lettuce and pickle sandwich that he just bought from McDonald's. He decided that because of the M shape and how much he enjoyed the burger, he would name the entire constellation Cassiopeia, in honor of his favorite McDonald's hamburger. It was discovered in the 1950s because one of the nebulas in the constellation emitted radio waves. It was named after Queen Cassiopeia, who you can see in this picture. The farthest star we can see with our naked eye is the V762 CAS in Cassiopeia. At 16,308 light years away, its brightness is a magnitude of 5.8 or just above the 6th magnitude limit. Scheider is an orange giant of the spectral type K-O-L-L-L-A, approximately 228 light years distant. And then Cassiopeia A is a supernova remnant. It is notable for being the brightest astronomical radio source in the sky. Thanks for listening.